When you get a new bike, you do a bunch of tweaks to make the bike fit you. You check the pressure in the shocks to make sure you have enough sag. You check the tokens to make sure the progression's right. You check the brake levers, the saddle height. You do a bunch of tweaks to make the bike fit. So when I got the Orbea Rise, I did all the usual setup and then I headed out on the trail. I fired on the motor, sent it to boost, thinking I was gonna get the full power, but I was wrong. It turns out the default setting, at least on my bike, had the assist at only 50% and the maximum torque at 47 newton meters. So I just finally got on the app and I just boosted it up to a full 60 newton meters of torque and full assist. I'm gonna head up to my favorite lower from trail and I'm gonna test both settings, the default boost and my new full boost on the climb to see if I really notice the difference. The next morning. So did I notice a difference? Holy shit, yeah, I noticed a difference. It was like having a whole new gear. When I went to the old boost, it felt like I was pedaling through molasses compared to the new boost. Honestly, I started to understand what people with the full powered mountain bikes were talking about. I rocketed up the fire road. It was, it felt crazy. For those of you who do have a rise and haven't played around yet with the app, get on that eTube app by Shimano and try boosting those settings. You can play around with it a bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the new full assist for when I'm going up fire roads or really smooth single track. And then I'm gonna use the old boost settings as my new trail settings for when I'm going up more techie single track climbs. And then my old, old trail mode, that's gonna be my new eco mode for when I'm going downhill and I just want a little bit of help if I'm on a feature that I need a little bit of extra torque on. Anyway, it's crazy. What a difference. I can't believe that it's been almost a full year of me not getting in there and playing around with it. Some of you guys are probably looking at me going like, what an idiot. But I also have a few friends with the Orbea Rise and they had no idea that the default boost wasn't actually the full power assist. So anyway, if you're a Rise owner, hop on the app, play around. You might be able to find some settings that really help your style of riding.